Hello everyone and welcome to the benchmarking review of the Zolo Q1000 Opus. Let's get into the hardware information first. The phone features the BCM23550 quad-core chipset running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. It has a 5-inch IPS display with a resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. As I said earlier, it's a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor that's based on ARMv7 with a 312 MHz video core 4 graphics engine. Out of the 1GB RAM, you have 954 MB that's available to the system. There's a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash and BSI sensor, capable of 720p video recording and a 0.3 MP VGA front facing camera as well. The phone is powered by a 2000 mAh lithium polymer battery and you have three sensors in the phone, namely a 3-axis accelerometer, a light sensor and a proximity sensor. You can see that the light sensor and proximity sensor are working fine. Now let's move on to the benchmarking. First we are going to run the Antutu benchmark. We will run the full benchmark here. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the final results quickly. So the scores have started loading up. Let's scroll down. So you can see that the Zolo Q1000 Opus got a score of 13746 on Antutu, which is quite acceptable and it's in line with the MT6589 chipset found on the Micromax Canvas 2 Plus and other smartphones. Now we are going to run the quadrant benchmark. We are going to run the full benchmark here as well. Let's submit the score. So we got a score of 3660 on quadrant, which is a bit lower than we expected. As MediaTek quad-core smartphones do reach the 3800 to 4000 mark and sometimes cross that. Now we will run Nina Mark 2 and this will test the video core 4 graphics engine of the device. So you got a frame rate of 49.9 FPS which is quite good, means even high-end games should be easily playable at decent frame rate. Next up we are going to run Bellamo HTML5. It will also run Sun Spider and V8 Benchmark Suit. So you got a Bellamo score of 1276 on HTML5. Let's get a comparison chart going. This score is a bit underwhelming as well because MediaTek quad-core chipsets generally breach the barrier of 1400 on Velamo HTML5. Now we'll run the metal chapter of Velamo. It basically tests the CPU of the device. So you got a Velamo metal score of 495 which is actually quite good and it's actually better than the MediaTek chipsets that we have been talking about especially the MT6589. Now we'll run Lintback, the single thread version first. So you got a score of 34.9 on single thread and a multi-thread score. It's inconsistent. We'll run that again. So we got 108.18 on multi-thread test. Now we'll run the multi-touch test. So you can see that I have four fingers but only two are detected. So it's a two-point multi-touch display. The Zolo Q1000 Opus is right now available for around Rs. 9500 in the market. And the new quad-core BCM23550 chipset from Broadcom does prove that it can take the fight to the cheaper budget variants from MediaTek. We'll be back with the gaming review and we believe that the phone will be able to play high-end games as well. Till then you can watch the unboxing of the Zolo Q1000 Opus, the review of the Canvas 2.2 A114 which performed really great and the Evergreen Galaxy S202. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Thank you and have a great day.